the Mix Mornings and More podcast with Steph. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Hello, hello, and happy Halloween. It's October 31st, 2023. It is 530. Also, my friend Nicole's birthday, whom I haven't seen since high school, but you never forget somebody who's born on Halloween. So happy birthday, Nicole. Will you be dressing up this year? Handing out candy? Turning off your lights? However you choose to celebrate today, I hope you have fun, even if it's hiding in a dark room away from their doorbell. Also, if your windshield wiper fluid isn't full, fill it up before you make the journey to work. Those roads are dirty. And just from the drive from Gregoire, my truck looks like it lives in Fort McMuddy again. I am double fisting the coffee already this morning. As in, I made a cup in my thermos, but it won't be cool enough to drink for a half hour. So I also made a meantime coffee in a mug so I can (laughs) sip it right now. Hello. (laughs) But I found the freshest life hack. And this might be a reality. And to that, I say, why didn't you tell me sooner? But Sunday morning, made myself a coffee to go and went to a meeting. And then when I got home, I refilled my to-go thermos and enjoyed a hot sip each time I drank until I finished it. And then I filled it up again. And this continued on all day. And then yesterday afternoon, I was feeling the need for a little pick-me-up. So naturally, my absent-minded brain made an entire pot of coffee for little old me. Challenge accepted. No worries. I can do this. Into the thermos it went. And then cup by cup, I had a hot coffee. Never had that cruel shock of it's been too long and now I'm not freezing cold like a delicious iced coffee, but unpleasantly freezing cold like I've been left here to die. It's a whole new world. And that world is filled with never-ending hot coffee. Try it. Hello and happy Taco Tuesday. Yes, I am currently wearing a taco costume. And since I've worn this every Halloween for the last three, I'm kind of wondering, is this the lazy costume or is it the first year it really works with Halloween falling on a Tuesday? I really had high hopes I could be Paddington Bear this year. I got the yellow raincoat and the red rain boots, and I was about to start looking for a red hat that would work to complete the look when I realized that Paddington wears a blue raincoat. So that went out the window. Uh, I also considered being Carmen Sandiego with tall black boots and a red raincoat and a red hat. But apparently I gave my red raincoat away in my last Marie Kondo session. So Taco Tuesday it is! (laughs) I've got a guest co-host with me for Halloween morning. Her name is Kate Arnold, and she's with Coldwell Banker. She's a realtor. And last week when I was doing the roving remotes and mourning the loss of Sean, I was talking about how I would have to do the show alone by myself forever until I found a new co-host. And thankfully, she didn't look scared when I said, or maybe you could come in and hang out with me one morning. So, Kate, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks, Steph. Good morning. Hello, hello. And now I'm asking every guest co-host this. Going to kind of pull like an Alex Trebek on Jeopardy. You know, after the first commercial break when he comes on and he says like, all right, tell me a little anecdote about your life that the audience could get to know you as not just a trivia buff, but uh, do you have a story for us today? Okay. I think I have a pretty good one for you. So when I first moved here, um, being from Victoria, like I'm not used to the snow or anything, I was going to a house to take measurements and photos of it and I pulled up parked it's winter time by the way pulled up and parked <laughs> um anyways going to the house turn on all the lights clear the house make sure it's good for photos and measurements come back out to get my camera and my car is literally being towed up on a <gasps> flatbed of a tow truck oh my gosh why yeah so I guess I was parked in a winter maintenance zone which I'm <laughs> unaware of being from the coast and mm-hmm. not having lived in Fort McMurray for a winter Right. Yeah. So anyways, I beg and plead. I'm like, I'm not from here. Please, like, I don't know this. Help me take it down. Like, I, like, please just give me an excuse. And anyways, they did. They took it off the flatbed, but they gave me a ticket for parking too close to a fire hydrant. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, at least you didn't get a winter maintenance zone ticket. And fire hydrant tickets are probably kind of the same across Canada. So that one was your fault. That one was my fault. I'll own that. But I do appreciate that they took it off the flatbread for Absolutely. you. That was very kind because that I feel like these days when you get it towed and then you got to go pay the inbound fee and then you got to pay the winter maintenance fee, it ends up being like 500 bucks. Yeah. Have you ever made like a homemade Halloween costume? Okay, so yes, I have stuff. And I think that um, I've done it a couple of times, but my like best homemade costume would have been when I was a Stanley Cup. The, the Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup. Mm-hmm. Now, was it like all the way down to your feet or like put us in the mood here? Yeah, describe okay, it to so us. definitely like I had a bowl covered in tin foil on a headband <laughs> on my head and then I was like spray painted silver and then I had made like a three tier 
um, like silver dress out of like vinyl fabric. Okay. Um, yeah, and then silver pants underneath and then silver shoes. So definitely like it was like a full commitment. That is a lot of commitment. Now, where did you go with this costume? Um, just to a regular old house party. Okay. Mm-hmm. And did did the host, you know, have prizes for the best costume? Yes, they did. And I don't think I won. Um, <gasps> however, I did get a lot of compliments for like most creative. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm a little you? bit upset. I think I need to go and like fight somebody <laughs> for you not winning. Yeah, I actually was um, the house that fell on the Wicked Witch of the East. Stop it. In the Wizard Stop. of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> like actually. Yeah. Hey, tell me about this. So, um... I had ruby red slippers, like sparkly okay. shoes, okay. and then I had black and white striped stockings. And then my husband, the creative man that he is, made me a full on like cardboard house to wear over oh top. My. And it had like a little porch on the front, like it was super, super cute. And then I just like walked around for the evening in this excellent homemade costume. And I have considered bringing it back multiple times. But I can't make the house. And my husband was like, no, we have to come up with something new. And so OK, I, but here's the thing. Do you have a photo? No. OK, so he has to make you recreate this costume, right? Yeah. Right. Because, because I don't have any photo. photo. Of it. OK, mm-hmm. thank you, Kate. All right. I'm going to I'm going to let him know that you agree with me. We need this costume. Definitely. Again. Feels like the hottest tickets in the world are still tickets to the Eras tour for Taylor Swift. And a lot of radio stations, different businesses have been giving away tickets and their contest mechanisms get even more outlandish as the time goes on. And one of them was the craziest thing you would do. And he actually got a tattoo of maybe Taylor and Travis on yeah. his rear end. That's a that's a tough one. It does not look like Taylor and Travis at all. Yeah, it looks more like what a 70s movie cover, mm-hmm. maybe or like a romance novel but not uh, like the two characters. I don't know if he did that on purpose or if he just went to a bad tattoo artist because they were cheaper. I don't know. It's it's terrible. I feel bad that that's on his body for the rest of his life. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, but it got us thinking about what you would do to get tickets to the air store. Like, how far would you go? Um, okay, how far would I go? Yeah. I think I might go skydiving. Really? Maybe, but now that I'm saying that, my hands are sweating. <laughs> I mean, like, skydiving just seems like it's too much of a risk to life for one evening out. Yeah, I think I'm just saying that knowing that it won't happen. How about you, Steph? What about you? How far would you go? Okay, um, there was a thought of, like, swimming with sharks, but I would never. I actually went to Disney World one time, and they had us, like, get all in the scuba gear, and I thought we were just looking at pictures on the bottom of the pool. (laughs) And as soon as I got in and discovered that there were actual fish swimming around with me, I screamed sucked in a bunch of water and then it was near drowning but you weren't allowed to kick and you were only allowed to go one way and so I had to get to the other end of the pool with water in my lungs and with all these fish in there it was terrible so (laughs) swim with sharks I don't know where that idea came from but that's not gonna be me (laughs) (laughs) I do not blame you that is dangerous yeah it's terrifying Uh, what about shave your head that's an easy one. Hair it, grows back, okay, right? Okay, it is easy. Yeah, could I do it? I maybe, maybe I could. Yeah, maybe, but but no. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's your reasoning though? Is it because you don't want to look like you don't have any hair, or is it because you've already kind of seen the Eras tour in theater? Like, what's what's the reasoning? I. I look terrible in hats, maybe. Oh, <laughs> like I could imagine what would happen if I didn't have any hair on this head, and it's not for me. Kate, I have a burning question for you. Okay, go ahead. How often do you wash your water bottle? Oh, okay. I am a daily washer. I actually have a rotation of water bottles. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you're kind of like, that one's dirty. I used it today. Next morning, grab a fresh one from the cupboard. Totally. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I'm 
probably with you. My friend Sean, one of our most like memorable conversations and the people one people were most grossed out about is that he only washes his water bottle every year and a half. Year and a half for one water bottle. <laughs> one water bottle. He just every morning he would fill it up multiple times. He always had it with him the same dirty purple water bottle and yeah then it would start to stink and then he'd be like oh maybe i should wash it next week (laughs) wow and he lived to tell about it (laughs) he did he is still alive um but i am like you where i wash my water bottle very often every time i use it but i've made a grave mistake okay tell me about it washed it this morning and Apparently, I didn't get all the soap off of it. Ah, yes. The soap risk. It is a risk, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Here's a trick, though, like a hack. So my mom always told me rinse soap with cold water because it, like, gets rid of it versus the hot water, like, activates it more. I don't know if it's a wives' tale, but give it a try next time. This is a great hack. I'm absolutely going to because every time I sit my water bottle this morning, I'm like, oh, man, I didn't, like, (laughs) sign up for the Thrills gum flavor, but this is where we're at right now. Inquiring minds want to know, Kate, your house, it's Halloween. Are you like a turn the lights off kind of person? Mini chocolate bar, full size chocolate bar? Yeah, I'm going to go with C, full size chocolate bars. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And here's why. The reason is we don't get a lot of trick or treaters, so we can afford it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. But <laughs> now that you've said it, though, everybody's going to be like, Kate Arnold, Kate yeah. Arnold, do the yellow pages work <laughs> anymore? Where does that girl live? I got to I gotta come to her house for sure. <laughs> the house across the street from me um, right now is making a haunted house. So I feel Ooh. like our trick or treater count is going to go up a ton this year because people are going to be like, oh, we're across the street. May as well. Go Absolutely. Over. Okay, so how do you prepare? Like, are you a full-size chocolate bar gal? Okay, this is going to sound terrible, but I'm actually not a hander-outer at all. I'm never home on Halloween. Oh, how come? Um, so we actually do this thing at the station called Trick or Eat, mm. which is super fun, and we go trick or eating ourselves Love it. as station workers, but we collect donations for the food bank. Oh, amazing. And so it's kind of fun, and um, we get to meet a lot of really cool people who are, it's so easy to donate when somebody's knocking on your door, you're planning on answering your door anyway to kids, then we're there and you're like, oh yeah, I have a couple of things I can spare from my cupboard that is just over in the other room. Let me go get it. This so. is such a great idea. Like, you know that there's going to be everyone home tonight and you're going to hit so many doors, get so many donations. Yeah. So huge thank you to everybody who plans on donating a little later. We are going to be in the neighborhood of Avasant. So um, if that's where you live, that's where we'll be too. But I do love that you're the full size chocolate bar house. When I was growing up, there was a dentist that lived in my neighborhood <laughs> and they always gave out a toothbrush and a full-size chocolate bar. So they're like, please don't egg our house. We'll give you the full-size chocolate bar, but also please don't come with cavities next week. Here's a toothbrush. I love it. It's Halloween today. So of course we're chatting about the worst Halloween candy to get in your pillowcase. If you're out buying, make sure you don't pick up this. Kate, your opinion? Okay, I'm going to go with the underrated sucker. Oh, Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. That is such a good one. I've never thought about Mm -hmm. that. Now, are you kind of particular about the sucker in the sense like the Tootsie Roll is an acceptable choice or are you like any sucker is a no-go? I'm just thinking like those like flat like colored suckers are like the worst ones with the really thin plastic yeah. on them and they always seem to break uh-huh but i guess i don't like them in general yeah okay i'm with you i'm not a sucker <laughs> person and every once in a while somebody would give you one of those like caramel apple ones mm-hmm. and a lot of people would think that was quite a prize yeah i don't agree no. either Mm-mm. okay another one um I call them kiss candies. Okay, what's Other that? people call them like the Halloween candy. Yes, 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 yes. With They're the wrapper, like, the orange. And the ghosts on yes, it. Yes, yeah. And they look as scary as they taste. Like, what are they, molasses Molasses, flavored? yes. Exactly. Gross. Oh, so bad. <laughs> Do you have another one? Um, I guess... I can't think of a specific candy, but I'm going to say like anything black licorice flavored. Oh, worse. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is a very good idea. Those are you? terrible. Oh, man. Glossettes. That should be the number one. Like, honestly, (laughs) number one worst candy covering a raisin in chocolate. Agreed. (laughs) Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.